Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Christopher Franco with Franco Virtual Currency, and uh, I'm, I'm going to show you some of my miners today. And, you know what we're doing. As you can probably hear in the background, that's the Zeus miner. It's doing 14 mega hash. But yeah, let me show you. So we have the two ants right here. Uh, they they actually, as you can as you can hear, or well, maybe not hear, they're a lot quieter than the Zeus miner. Uh, they they have minimal minimal heat. They're very quiet, very stable. Uh, I think I, I I reset them like once a day just because these things are mining bitcoins right now, uh, as it's the most profitable shell coin. Um, it's hooked into a TX850M uh, Corsair. It's it's rocking it over here. Uh, and this is the Zeus miner just making all the noise. It's doing about 14 mega hashes. Uh, we're mining Franco's right now at DirtyDiggers.org. So yeah, we're we're knocking out a lot of blocks with it. It's surprisingly, I'm just surprisingly loud. Like I didn't expect it to be this loud, but it's got that crazy awesome fan right there. Uh, it's blowing out pretty warm air. Yeah, uh, of course the power supply is not doing much. I didn't have a pie, but I you know we did have a lot of GPU rigs. So I just converted one of the. Uh, motherboards into a really nice unit for this. And I think whenever we get another Zeus, I'll probably just stack her on top, you know, and connect another a couple six pins and then call it a day. But, uh, yeah, that's that's about it. That's the Zeus miner. I know it was a, kind of a bear to set up at first because, like, the manual at Zeus miner is completely wrong. Like, it's tell it was telling me to use a certain driver that it really isn't supposed to use. Uh, on top of that, it doesn't actually tell you the settings for your CG monitor. It just gives you a bat file that's also not right. So, Zeus monitor needs to step the game up. Uh, the, the major complaint I had about the Zeus monitor was that it didn't have built-in Wi-Fi. Whereas the ant miners, as you can see, like you just you just turn them suckers on. Uh, you turn them on one at a time, you connect through your Wi-Fi, you set it up, you point it at a pool, you reset it, it's good to go. It connects straight to Wi-Fi. Like, no real big deal. I actually have it, I have it wired in, but I don't, I don't have to wire it in. I'm pretty sure I can un take these, take these wires out, and it'll, it'll do, you know, what it needs to really, really well. These things are very, very quiet and very low heat for the performance they get. As compared to the Zeus miner, what you can hear is just like roaring and blowing out like crazy amounts of heat. But I mean, it's also doing 14 mega hashes, so on on script, which is pretty pretty uh, memory intensive. But yeah, that's I think I think if Zeus miner had the built-in capabilities that the ants did, then. Zeus Miner will be a little better of a product. I mean, it's still a solid product, and it looks really fancy. It's like, you know, I mean, it's it's nice. Feels like nice quality. I just I just feel like, you know, where they cut a little corners on like the Wi-Fi and stuff. They didn't have to do that, and I probably would have gladly paid a few more dollars just to have that plug and play type, you know, thing going on. Like if I could just hook it up. Put some internet to it and it just automatically you know starts going i think that's that's the way to do it well, all right man thanks for watching my video